I've looked up at the board as I'm going past and I can see it says murder, attempted murder, possession of firearms, grievous bodily harm, assault, affray. And I'm thinking he's in trouble. And I've looked, it's my name. I went, what? Yeah, when I was um, when I was finally released from that sentence, I I was no good for nothing else. So I decided I wanted to become a professional at the crimes I was committing, and I didn't really want no more uh, time in jail. So I put a little firm together, and um, we'd done a few robberies, and then I became what's known as a spare. I a lot of little firms were robbing in those days, bank robberies. And if anyone needed a spare man, they knew they could just turn up at my house any time and say, you're coming and I'll just grab a gun and come with them. I was one of them. I was always up for it. So I'd done a lot of robberies where I wasn't the leading light, where I was working with other gangs. And um, then around about 84, um, a little firm I was working with all ended up getting nicked. I wasn't on the robbery, lucky enough. Uh, they ended up getting uh, 43 years between them. And I, what I'd done was I went back to doing small robberies on my own. I ended up getting caught once for possession of a firearm in 86, and they gave me 12 months in prison for it. And I was in Wandsworth. And, um, and I'd met all the little firm in Wandsworth. They were all in there doing their 43 years. So we had a good shout in the yard. And I got out, they released me that day. And I said, look, uh, have I got any money to come? And they went, no, uh, we'll give you a travel warrant. So I said, well, I'll give you home money then. So, I got the bus down to Tooting Broadway, and what I'd done was, I see a nice little bank down there, and I thought, yeah, that'll do. So, I didn't have a gun, obviously, no disguise or nothing. So, I looked in a, a, a bin that was outside the shops, and I found a McDonald's bag. So, I thought, fuck it, got a McDonald's bag, but uh, a little bottle, a little pop bottle in it, and just walked, wrapped my scarf around my face, walked straight into this bank, give me the money, guess it. So they put it all up on the counter, I walked out there with seven grand, threw the bottle and the bag in the bin, jumped on the tube and off I went. I went, fuck you with your discharge grant, I've made my own money. But that was the start then of me committing these little robberies on my own, I used to do a lot on my own. So only occasionally, I wouldn't do them all the time, I'd do them if we needed something, if we were going on holiday, I'd go and do a robbery. Um, and that kind of led to me, what it was, I was doing well, I was doing straight work, I was a hod carrier, earning really good money, and um, I went out for a drink one night down in Brixton with my brother and my sister and a few people I knew. And I ended up getting involved in an altercation down there. I was carrying a cutthroat razor and uh, three geezers attacked me. Um, two brothers and another fellow. I've ended up, I've knocked one of them out. I knocked the other fellow out in the right as he came across the road, bang. He's got straight down on his head. And the other two jumped me and I was fighting back, but eventually they got me down onto the deck and I had a razor in my back pocket, pulled that out jumped up and just went to work on them. I got away thinking, you know, there's no comeback on me, they don't really know who the f I am, it's in a pub in Brixton. That was on the Saturday night, on the Monday morning, bang, the doors come through. Old Bill were everywhere, we're nicking you for murder, attempted murder, serious assault. And then when they searched my house, they found a, an automatic 2 2 rifle at Remington. They take me down to Brixton Police Station and they let me out to um, go for the interview. And you know the board where everyone's name is and what they're in for and all that, it says sell to so and so drunk driving. I've looked up at the board as I'm going past and I could see it says murder, attempted murder, possession of firearms, grievous bodily harm, assault, affray. And I'm thinking he's in trouble. And I've looked, it's my name. I went, what? So what happened was, it just so happens that the night that I ended up cutting these geezers with a razor, a mile away, they found a cab driver with his throat cut in the cab, and they put two and two together. They said, yeah, that could have been done with a razor. It turned out it was a Stanley blade. So they obviously got me in the frame for it. Now they found a the gun, it's even better. They think, oh, f me, we've got this. And do you know what the copper said to me in Brixton Police Station? The two CID were right pleased. Uh, and I said, what are you looking all so pleased about? And he went, well, he said, this is the first time he said, this is Brixton Police Station. I went, yeah. He said, it's the first time I've had a cut in by a white man. He said, you can't go to court and claim racial discrimination from Brixton Police, mate. You're in it. 